Welcome to the Dan Nichols Show. Uh, now, you'll notice I'm even more bronzed and chiselled than usual. Uh, there's a good reason for that. The Dan Nichols Show has spent a few days in Mauritius over the last week, lying on the beach, soaking up the sun, drinking cocktails. But we did do a little bit of hard work in between with one particular task. We've had numerous emails from upset women across South Africa complaining that none of the eye-catching men we've had on the show so far, Ray Neertling, Cameron van der Berg, Chris Forrest, have appeared without their shirts on. So tonight, we rectify that with a very special picture just for the ladies. Here, in all of his topless glory, is champion golfer George Kutsir. <laughs> George actually joins us later on tonight on the show, along with rock star Ard Matthews. We take to the water in Mauritius and have a lot of fun out in the waves. Our studio guests tonight can't quite match George's raw athleticism, but they're a pretty cool bunch nonetheless. The man with cricket's greatest ever action, former Proteus spinner Paul Adams, the most famous Ugandan since Idi Amin, comedian David Kibuka, and Soweto's most famous Yorkshireman, Lucas Radebe. Now, Paul is now coaching the Cobras, David's a film star, Lucas is regularly linked with a move back to Leeds to take over his new club, so it's a multi-talented group we have here with us tonight. Speaking of talented groups, we have some of Laureus's Yes Youth leaders in our audience this evening. Now, these guys are doing terrific work using the power of sport for good in local communities, and they're very special guests of the Dan Nichol Show. Guys, great to have you here with us this evening. <laughs> Now, if Mauritius was warm and sunny last week, then the BT Sport Industry Awards in London just before that offered considerably cooler weather. But there was plenty to keep South Africans feeling right at home. Not only was the wine served South African, but the theme for the celebrity guests on the night was dress like a South African. It looked like David Ginola, the former Newcastle Spurs and France winger, had won the night's best dress title, as the Frenchman had clearly come as former Springbok centre Robbie Fleck. <laughs> But he was pipped at the post by a star turned from cross-dressing comedian Ezzy Izzard, who arrived at the awards dressed as Helen Ziller. <laughs> as you can see, the resemblance is quite eerie. 